Hello, and welcome back to Not Just Another Jessica. Today we're standing in my kitchen because it's the beginning of a kitchen makeover project. We moved into this brand new home about six months ago. When we moved in, we were not allowed to make customization choices, and as we lived in the house, we've decided to make a few changes. One of those is that we will be getting new floors. The floors we are getting are a golden brown tone strand woven kiln baked bamboo. We chose these floors because they were extremely durable in our last home, and we wanted to have them in this home. That being said, they will not match with our grayish brown cabinets. Because of that, I am embarking on a new project. I am going to paint our cabinets. Let's see how it goes. These are the supplies I have selected for my kitchen renovation. To begin with, I will be wiping down the cabinets with a liquid sander, as shown here. After that step is completed, I will be masking off the areas which I wish to paint and giving all the cabinets one coat of the Zinser Bullseye 123 primer. This will provide a nice light surface for the paint. The paint I have decided to go with is the Nouveau Cabinet Paint, a soft mint color. I like the tone of this paint and that it is a green color that I feel will match a lot of things. I have painted cabinets in the past, however, I have not used this system, so I will let you know how well it goes. I have an assortment of brushes, paint tray, and then within the kit, you received rollers and other things. I'll open it now so you can see the inside. Inside each paint kit, you will see there is a paint stick, a roller handle, a small brush, two roller covers, two jars of paint, as well as instructions on how to complete the project. One feature that I really enjoy about our kitchen is my kids' art wall. I picked up these four golden clip bulletin boards at Ikea, and I use them to easily display my children's art, as well as important schedules or cards. Right now we have a few Christmas cards up. This is our starting. We will also be painting the butler's pantry in there, which is my coffee area. We have cabinets there as well as the cabinets in here. My goal is to make sure to have the deglazing and the primering done before the new floors are put in so that I am careful not to get any of that onto the new flooring. Right now I am wiping the cabinets with the cabinet deglazer and this will help the paint to stick as I begin to put the primer on. Now I am beginning to apply the Zinser primer starting with the crevices of the cabinets and then rolling the flat surfaces. We're continuing our cabinet makeover and we've begun the painting process. We're using this Nouveau cabinet paint in a soft mint. This is the color that it is. It ended up being a nice minty green, which is what I was looking for, almost a retro vibe. I began putting it over the primered cabinet and it's turning out quite nicely. Let's see how it goes. All 
Alright, all the cabinets are painted and now we're getting ready to apply the Gator Hide. So, Gator Hide is a product from Dixie Bell Paint and it's supposed to help with making the paint extra tough and durable and um, repel water, which I thought would be a good idea in the kitchen. I'm going to be applying it with just a regular brush and coat all the cabinets. All right, our kitchen redo is complete, and I'm very happy with how it turned out. We have all of our cabinets this nice minty green, and we have our new, more golden-toned floors in. Um, all in all, this was a very affordable and easy kitchen redo project. I'll be sharing a breakdown of the cost, but it was very affordable, and the cabinets turned out lovely. We've had them painted like this for about two months and I haven't noticed any scratching or wear and tear on the cabinets so that's been really good. Here is one of the areas I really like in my kitchen. It's my children's artwork area. Uh, there's four of these golden metal boards with clips where we can hang their artwork. All right, so the kitchen redo is complete. Would I use these products again? I have to say yes, I did enjoy the liquid sand that I used. I think it did a good job of deglazing the cabinets and getting them ready for paint. I've used this product before and I find it easy to use and effective. Um, the new product that I had not used yet, Nouveau Paint System. I showed you in the beginning of the video, it came in a box with two cans of paint, the rollers, the brushes, and the paint stick. I got these off of Amazon for $36 for the set of two cans of paint, and it only took me two to do my entire kitchen. I have extra left so I can do a bathroom or something else with the leftovers. I found the paint to be very liquidy, but Surprisingly, it covered very well. I would recommend Nouveau cabinet refinishing systems for ease of use and coverage of paint. The other new product to me was the Dixie Bell Gator Hide, and I thought this product was wonderful. It was easy to apply, and it had a nice um, satin finish, not very shiny, which was what I was looking for. I'm hoping that it will make my cabinets hold up for years to come and um, make our kitchen a place where we can use it every day and it will still look nice and fresh. Uh, we are a family of six, so our kitchen sees a lot of use, and so far, both of these products did a great job. So, Nouveau Cabinet Paint, Gator Hide by Dixie Bell, they get a thumbs up for me. Um, thank you for watching our kitchen makeover. Uh, if you're interested in more home improvement projects, do it yourself. Uh, Big Family of Six Living, Mom Life, Homeschool Channel, please like and subscribe below and stay tuned for weekly videos.